are at Port uh, McDonald. We haven't even started the Pelagic like it's the day before and we've had an absolute amazing afternoon already. It's been so good photographing the, the colony of the um, black-faced cormorant, bringing back nesting material. It's such a great spot to do it as well and now we've had a crack of sunset. So yeah, I think we've had a pretty neat like first afternoon really. No complaints here, that's for sure. Yeah, very good. Lots of action with the birds flying in, bringing in the nesting material. Really good for flight shots and um, yeah, it's just a really great spot to be. So yeah, quite happy. Yeah, it's nice. I am pumped. I was so pumped when we found that, when we found the spot and saw like there was some activity and, and things like that. So it was very difficult to start with. The wind was absolutely blowing. So I had the, you know, with 600 or like even more focal lengths for Craig, it's been crazy. Just every single bit of shake and I have a pretty crap tripod. But you know, you do with what you have and yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing experience just, just watching them. I love watching birds that just don't care and do their thing. Like it's, yeah, it's one of the, the best things. So now we've got to head back. The light's getting like very low. Gonna reach out to the batteries or offload the cameras and uh, yeah, we'll start getting ready for tomorrow, 6 a.m. start and hopefully we'll find some albatross. just down there no coffee and that's that's a problem that's gonna be difficult right. well that's a much bigger boat than the Gold Coast Southport Pelagic I used to go on it's much bigger oh, is it much bigger oh, good. <laughs> yeah the Gold Coast one is pretty small not many seats, huh? sorry not many seats yeah oh, well. do it Let's do this. Wow. They're all good. All, all good. <laughs> <laughs> so, excited about this trip, Dave. What are you hoping? What's the main species you're hoping to see today? Uh, a lot of storm petrels today. Storm hopefully, petrels. yeah. Missed yeah. out the end of last year. So. Expectations are always very high when you go on a boat trip, but uh, weather conditions are perhaps a little bit innocuous for a, for a boat trip today. Uh, it's not forecast to be much of a swell at all and virtually no wind, so that's always not a good thing when you look at the seabirds because they need wind and swell to, to keep flying, to keep moving around um, without expending too much energy. So hopefully we don't have to cruise around on the surface and look for birds sitting on the water. Hopefully we'll get birds into the back of the boat, and uh, so it should be a good day. But, Weather forecast, yeah, it's supposed to be fairly innocuous. There is a chance of some showers today, so we've all got wet weather gear on. Most of us anyway, just in case. Um, but other than that, it should be a good day. Inshore, you'd expect uh, short tailed shearwaters. Um, they nest. They nest locally over on the lighthouse there, there's a, there's a little island there. Bit of lunch. How's, how's the trip been so far? Oh, it's been great. It's actually, I've seen two new bird species for me. I think we had four species of albatross. Uh, yeah, lots of fleshy footed. Uh, a white chain came by with a juvenile gannet. Lots of good photos. Very difficult to film in the rocking boat. Like it's pretty handheld with no stabilization and stuff. But yeah, it's fun. I think it'll, I'm keen to like process the photos and and, yeah, and show them and put them online should be good what's the favorite albatross species that you're saying today uh, favorite albatross species uh yellow nose lucky i already like i've seen nice them bird, one, yeah i've seen them once on the gold coast 
and they're, they're beautiful but there's, there's just two like two adults here with superb superb beaks and i hope i can get some some good close-ups like it's got a good lipstick it's all like red in the front and everything like yeah it's absolutely stunning so. and we've had a bit of a soundtrack today on the boat for you know it's like you know, and even like, I don't know, 27 nautical miles out of shore, you're kind of scared of Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran is everywhere. It's like, it's in your car, it's in your house, it's in your boat. Like, I like the man, but leave me alone for a second. He's in the ocean. He's everywhere. Mm. Don't, don't talk with him out for him. Okay. <laughs> That was a little bit of an abrupt ending of the video. Uh, it turns out that I lost three, uh, two out of the three batteries for my M5 in the previous trip. I only realized a bit before that one, so I didn't have time to get some more. So yeah, the vlog was cut a little short. But um, I hope you got the gist that we had an amazing time and albatross are absolutely epic birds and pelagic birds are epic as well. Pelagic bird photography is epic in itself. It's it's great fun. It's it's very good practice as well because you have to be stable and uh, know a lot about your camera so you don't have to think about the settings and yeah to, to get the shots so def filming them was definitely a challenge but i hope you enjoyed a little bit of a cinematic b-roll of those amazing birds and um yeah there will be hopefully more of those as in those vlogs in the, in the future or future trips in the it's currently way later than what I expected in terms of dates. I was on that pelagic boat nearly a month and a half ago, but a lot of hap has happened since. I moved back to Queensland. So yeah, just finishing that now. And uh, planning to start a new little wildlife series very soon that I'll be posting on this YouTube channel. So I'm getting cracked on that next week. And uh, yes, if you don't want to miss it, subscribe and uh, you'll be the first one to know. I'll probably Put some stuff on Instagram as well and um, on my Facebook maybe or on my Twitter who knows but yeah probably on Instagram first and, and down here so yeah thanks for watching and yeah subscribe and share